Wouldn't it be great if we could achieve all the necessary climate goals without having to fear for our jobs? If we just had mobility for all, regardless of your wallet or whether you live in the city or in the countryside, and a good job in industrial and transport companies. But is this even possible? And what will become of the workers in the automotive industry if far fewer cars are produced and only electric cars? If we switch to environmentally friendly means of transport and well-developed, inexpensive, local and long-distant public transport in the future, this will open up huge economic potential. Many more subways and trams, suburban and long-distance trains, new control systems, rails, repair shops, e-bus systems with overhead lines, specialized e-vehicles, cargo bikes, and e-bikes. All this will be needed for our own needs, but also for a moderate export. All this has to be produced. A just mobility that takes social and ecological aspects into account therefore requires an incredible amount of manpower. Even with cutting down of automobile production by 50% and a corresponding loss of up to 250,000 jobs, an overall increase in jobs could arise, as a study by the Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung shows. If passenger numbers are to increase by a factor of 2.5, this will create up to 314,000 new jobs. In combination with a shorter work week and comparable compensation, there would even be 436,500 new jobs. But isn't there a danger that you have to exchange an interesting, secure job for a service job on worse terms? No, because the new jobs are not just any replacement jobs, but indispensable industrial activities. In order to create the productive basis for a climate neutral mobility, the knowledge and skills of employees are indispensable. But let's not kid ourselves. The corporations will not voluntarily participate in such a social ecological transformation. They envisage a simple exchange of engines, not a turn from cars to public transport or bikes. So many millions of new private electric cars instead of old diesel. Instead of finding alternatives that serve the common good, they want to make high profits for as long as possible and therefore ride the horse until it's dead. Therefore, only one thing remains. The broad union of workers and trade unions from different industries, from environmental and climate movements, left-wing politics and critical science. Let's join our power resources. Because only together, we can realize a just transition to a just mobility, a lane change that will enable us and next generations to live in a future worth living.